Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steffi confronts Hope and Thomas asks Burke to be honest. At Ayel Giardino, Liam noticed Carter come and asked if he wanted to join him. Sitting down, Carter commented how much easier it was at the restaurant without Sheila, but Liam added the Sheila nightmare continued for Steffi, who had been traumatized by taking her own life. Liam was anxious about Steffi, but Carter assured him that her family was watching out for her. Liam agreed that he was, but she needed to watch out for herself. However, she was most concerned about Thomas because of Hope. Liam shared Steffi's view that Hope was leading Thomas on and Carter mentioned that he had seen the engagement ring around Hope's neck rather than on her finger. Liam praised God for so much. Carter assumed Liam was concerned. Admitting that he was biased, Liam stated that he had always believed the relationship was going to fail. He was only concerned that Thomas would hurt Hope, not the opposite. Liam, dripping with venom, said that Steffi was concerned that Hope would break his fragile little heart. Carter, who had felt people were growing more positive about Hope and Thomas, pointed out that they had been dating for a long period. Liam wondered what would happen if it all went wrong. Steffi was concerned that Hope would end her relationship with Thomas, while Liam was concerned about Thomas's reaction. Carter noticed that Steffi and Liam did not believe Hope was in love. Liam responded that Hope was always defensive about Thomas, stating, You don't know what we have, but Liam questioned if Hope would act that way if she was truly in love. Carter assumed Liam believed Hope was setting Thomas up for a major disappointment. Steffi claimed in Eric's office that Hope had said no to Thomas, and it was now up to him to say it back. Do you hear me? Steffi asked. Disillusioned, he claimed to have prepared a speech, made a dress, and had the ring. Steffi stated that Hope had been wearing the ring around her neck, which was not appropriate. Thomas knew he and Hope loved each other, therefore he questioned why Hope wouldn't fully commit to him. He couldn't understand what he had done wrong. Steffi informed her brother that he'd done nothing wrong and it was all Hope. He couldn't believe Hope had turned him down again. Steffi was not startled by Hope's behavior. She believed his feelings for Hope were good, but they would only cause him sorrow and anguish. He shook his head, but Steffi stated Hope had let him down time and again. Steffi advised him to abandon his connection with Hope. Steffi explained that Hope had been using Thomas and would only destroy his heart. Hope refused to wear his ring or pursue a future with him. Steffi was certain Hope would not commit. Thomas believed he should have maintained his word and allowed Hope more time. Steffi stated it was what Hope wanted and she urged him to recognize that Hope was playing a game. He replied that it wasn't a game, but she argued that Hope was stringing him along. Steffi assumed he knew, but neither he nor Hope wanted to hear it. Steffi pushed him to think about himself and his sanity before leaving Hope. Thomas said that Steffi did not understand what she was asking. She reasoned that he needed to worry of himself and Douglas. She didn't think he should let Douglas continue to watch Hope burn Thomas. Thomas would not hide his feelings from his son. Steffi thought that if Douglas found himself in a similar situation with a woman, Thomas would want him to defend himself. Steffi recommended Thomas to show that to Douglas while remembering Thomas's pride and dignity. Steffi called the scenario toxic, claiming it would reawaken his demons. She said that he had worked hard to change himself and hope was not worth it. Steffi wished him happiness and told him he could be with any other lady in the world. She hugged him and said he deserved to be happy. Hope slipped the ring on and off her finger in the salon, anticipating Thomas's departure. Brooke arrived and asked, what is all this? She noticed Hope's distress and inquired as to her condition. Hope sobbed because Thomas had left without giving her an explanation. She held up the ring and stated that he had proposed again. Brooke suspected Hope had turned him down. Hope mumbled that she wasn't ready and Thomas was too hurt to look at her. Brooke was sure Hope felt bad, but she reminded her that she was not ready for such a commitment. Hope stated that she was aware of this and she assumed Thomas did as well. She added that he had stated that he was not in a rush. Brooke questioned what had changed. Hope claimed they had been transparent and honest from the outset. Brooke responded that there was no reason to rush into a marriage, especially given how the one with Liam had ended. Hope wailed as Brooke begged her to worry about herself and the children. Brooke thought Hope had a lot to think about. Hope sobbed as she remembered Thomas's expression. She claimed she was to blame for the anguish and she could not understand how he felt at the time. Hope sobbed that she had wrecked everything. Brooke encouraged Hope not to think like that and to look out for herself and what was best for her heart. Brooke stated that Hope could not enter into a marriage if it was not what she truly wanted. Hope maintained that she desired Thomas and their connection. 
She wanted him to know she loved him. In the design office, Thomas drew. He recalled what had occurred to Hope as well as Steffi's admonition. Brooke opened the door and watched him for a few moments. She turned to go but instead chose to enter and close the door behind her. She informed him she'd seen Hope at the salon and knew he proposed. Thomas did not want to talk about it. Brooke claimed she was not there to make him feel worse. She noticed how heartbroken he was and said Hope was as well. She claimed Hope had not intended to harm or reject him. She claimed Hope had tried to explain. Thomas indicated that Hope had worn the ring, although around her neck. He added that she might have rejected it, yet she continued to wear it. He felt like they'd grown closer since then, and she'd told him she didn't want what they'd discovered in Rome to end. He honestly expected her to accept the proposal. He inquired if he had been a fool. He sought the truth. Does Hope really love me? He inquired. Hope returned to Eric's office, where she caressed her bare neck while looking at a photo of herself and Thomas. The door slammed. Steffi walked in, stating she despised being right sometimes. Hope imagined Steffi knew. They spoke over each other, and Hope stated that she was not prepared for that level of commitment. Steffi, claiming to be well aware of the situation, stated that Thomas was the only one who was unaware. Steffi directed Hope to cease the game. She stated Thomas had loved Hope for a long time and had almost ruined his life because of it. Hope claimed to understand this, which was why she loved him. Steffi quickly denied the idea, but Hope insisted she did. Steffi inquired as to what the problem was. Hope said that she understood what Thomas meant to her and that she could rely on him. Steffi disagreed, believing she'd gotten through to him. Steffi stated that she had told Thomas the truth. Hope would never accept the proposal and was simply playing with his emotions. She said she told Thomas to stand up and stop his connection with Hope once and for all. Steffi flips out. Hope isn't ready. Foresters versus Logans again. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers for Tuesday, March 19th, Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, is furious with Hope Logan, Annika Noel. Next on the bold and the beautiful. Hope says that she isn't ready to move on just yet. Another Foresters versus Logans dispute is set to erupt at Forrester Creations. Steffi Forrester loses it with Hope Logan. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Steffi will lose her cool with Hope now that she has turned down Thomas Forrester's, Matthew Atkinson, proposal again. Steffi advised Hope not to mess with Thomas's emotions, and yet again, Hope is stringing him along. Hope started this connection, so what's her problem now? Steffi is weary of Thomas blaming himself for everything that has happened, and she wants him to forget Hope and move on. Steffi is scared that Thomas would become obsessed with Hope again and lose control. Also read, BMB spoilers. Poppy's big reveal leaves Finn shocked as Luna really his sister? Is Thomas going to have another breakdown as a result of all this drama? Is Hope in love with Thomas, or is she just using him? I hope Logan just isn't ready. When Thomas proposed, Hope replied that she wanted more time. Thomas gave Hope some time to think about it, but she hadn't changed her mind. Instead of waiting for Hope to approach him, Thomas felt it would be best to propose to her again. Thomas couldn't believe Hope had rejected him again. Thomas couldn't bear to touch Hope after she rejected down his proposal again. Thomas felt he'd done everything correctly this time. Why aren't Thomas's efforts good enough for Hope? BMB spoilers. Steffi flips out. Hope isn't ready, and Foresters vs. Logan's again. Will Thomas give up and move on, or will he return to his old habits? Is Thomas's fixation going to return? Another Logan vs. Forrester feud. Rich Forrester, Torsten K., was delighted that Thomas and Hope were getting along so well. Rich believed Thomas and Hope had it right this time. However, Hope has once again broken Thomas's heart. Can Hope and Thomas work it out, or is this the end for Thomas? Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, may have yielded a little when Hope told her how happy Thomas makes her. But if this is true, why can't Hope commit to Thomas? Is Hope secretly concerned that Thomas may get infatuated again? Will Hope and Thomas be able to work this out?